Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Will to Live Online video. This is going to be on farming bears. Now, bears are not the best money in the game. They're not the best XP in the game, but they are good money and they are good XP. You're also going to get some survival experience out of it. You're going to be out of the way. No one's going to really bother you while you're doing it. So it's a very, very good alternative to any of the other things you can do like fire spiders and sun, spi uh, sun spiders. And stuff like that it's a very very good alternative also this is where you get the wolf slash 357 the modded version i actually got this myself on my third kill i was super shocked by that like literally three kills in i've done a crap load more kills after that and i've not been able to get it again so i'm quite happy with that i'm going to be keeping that on my um my character at all times so yeah here it is this is the guide for fighting the bears in the swamp Alright, so the bears, um, they can go quite a long way. They can go all over the place. So the way I've found how to do it, this works for me. I've done this multiple times now. Obviously, when I've gone to bank, I've had to redo it again to set it up. Because the boar, as a, even though the bears do walk around the area, they have to spawn somewhere. So what you're going to do is when you get into the swamp, you're going to follow the train line. Literally, you know, you spawn right next to the trains. Just follow the train line all the way up. That'll take you up to uh, B4 slash 8, and you just kind of carry on here. Then when you get to B3 slash 5, a bear can... One of the bear's roots goes here. So just have a quick look around this area, like all around here. If you don't see him, move to the next one. Like, I mean, I don't mean this square. Like, have a look around, you know, 5, then here, 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 here. Have a look all... Maybe not down here, just have a look around here. If you can't see him, go to the next one, which is going to be C2 slash 7. So when you're going up from this one, you go to the next one and just look around here. This is just two places where I've spotted them multiple times. Um, do, do not go nervous bandit camp if you're a low level. You will get absolutely clapped. So stay, oh, stay out of that square. I'd say add these to your map onto your map marker now so then you know where they are. So yeah, you're going to want to check around, all around this area. And so what you're going to do, you're going to kill the bear here. You're going to run, if it's there, if not, then just run north. But you're going to kill the bear here. If it's not there, or you've killed it, run to the next one, kill the bear here. You're going to need to find the bear. You've These are just two areas where I know it works, like 100%. Might not be there when you get there, but it will be around this general area. When you've killed the bear, all right? You're going to run up to the bear cave, which is B1 slash 4. So you're going to run into B2 slash 1, and then into B1 slash 4. That's where the bear spawns. When you've done this, this like you can kill it from here. I'm going to obviously show you a clip in a minute, but you can kill it here. Wait a couple of minutes, or respawn, kill it again, and do it over and over and over. But there's two different bears here like this isn't the same bear that goes to these two locations so what i've been doing is killing this one running up to the next one killing this one and then coming here i'm pretty sure for the bear cave is this one that you need to kill <clears throat> i've also also spotted one over here which i forgot to add on uh where's my marker there it is like don't worry i know for a fact it was there 100 percent. i know exactly i just forgot to put the marker down so yeah, you're going to check here, check here. If you don't find a bear in these two locations, I'd say go check here. I've seen one walking around here. Um, and you, yeah, you just want to find the bear that spawns there. So find it, kill it, runs here, and then I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the entire video clip now of me running up, killing this one, going to the next one, killing this one, running up here, setting up camp, and then killing it over and over. So one thing I would highly advise, as you can see, I have these markers here. These are for firewood. You want to get around 30 to 40 firewood depending on how long you want it to stay because you're going to want to make a fireplace, chuck all your wood in it so it lasts as long as possible. Whenever you kill the bear, you want to put the bear meat in, the bear heart in, cook it, it'll make it a little bit lighter and make it a lot more valuable. The bear heart, I think, is about 600, but when it's cooked, it's worth 1,000. And you can carry like it goes down by like 0.3 kilogram as well. So, you know, if you've got like five of them, You'd only be able to carry four, but because you've cooked them, now you can carry five. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, do that. The bear meat, like the bear stuff, is kind of heavy. But if you, if there's two of you, 
So the level I'd recommend on this is level 25 plus with the cheating armor. So you've got, you know, your, your plus 20% damage, plus 20% crit and all that. With the cheating armor, the full set, uh, on a miner or a mercenary. If you are an engineer or a hunter, I highly advise you take a second per... An engi engineer, you should be fine because you could set a respawn tool up on the, the top of the, the side of a cliff and then keep running down and fighting it. If you are, but if you are a hunter or an engineer, I highly recommend having a second person with you because these are the level ones are kind of easy. But when you get that level five or that level six, they are going to chuck you about like really badly. But anyway, let's get on to the clips. All right. So as you can see, I've spotted the second bear. You've already seen me kill the first one. That was in um, the basically the intro of the video. Uh, this is me when I found, spotted the second one, put the marker down. Now I know he's going to spawn there. We're going to get rid of his bear as fast as possible. Alright, so now the second bear is down. I'm just going to loot it up real quick. Well, grab what I can. And then I'm going to run up to the bear cave. And that's when you'll see that the spawn the spawn trap is basically being set up. So I am going to show it you, but I am going to speed it up because we don't need to watch it all. Alright, so here we are at the bear cave. As you can see from me aiming in, the bear has just respawned probably, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds ago because it, it doesn't instantly come start walking out. It usually stays in there for a couple of seconds. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill this bear off and then we'll get on to the next part. Alright, so basically all, was, all was we're going to be doing now is setting up camp because this is my position where I like to fight them from. As you can see, my stash is here from earlier. I just couldn't carry everything. So yeah, we're going to make our campfire whenever I figure out how to do it. <laughs> there we go. Get that place down. Open that up. Shuck the bear meat in. Chuck the bear heart in and chuck this other part of the bear in. I, I don't know how to pronounce that second word. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Just wait for that to cook. Take it out. I like to put all the sticks in, make the fire last even longer. I like to put, sort my inventory out. But if it doesn't spawn that quick, don't worry. If you've just killed the bear in that cave or could just coming out of that cave, it will 100% respawn. Sometimes it can take a while. There's the second one. Sometimes it can take a while. Sometimes it will be instant. Like this one was a pretty fast spawn. I've had one spawn nearly instantly after one. And I've had another one take five, six, seven minutes before. Like I said, this is something you can relax and do. It's not over the top. You're going to make a bit of money. And the XP is actually really good. Like really, really good. Um, also, I'd advise bring a, a pickaxe. There's some very high quality metal in there that you're going to need for making armor plates at late game. Um, as you can see, I'm going to run in there right now. I don't have a pickaxe on me, but there is a bag that you can loot free medkits from. And uh, some of the metal that you use for making crafted bullets, which is the best ammunition in the game. You always want to be crafting your ammunition. There's a tip for you. Not for um, not for the mobs, for like bears. You know, any, any type of mob, you would usually want to be using HP rounds, but... The PvP, you definitely want to be using crafted bullets. So, yeah, just run in. As you can see, there's a couple of things you can mine. And the bag is in the right side. There we go. So you can run in there, I'd say, every 10 to 20 minutes for the metal. I think it's like every half an hour for the medkits. 
Yeah, because they will obviously keep respawning, regenerating. But yeah, that's that's how you set up for the bear. Um, it it can be a bit a bit of a grind getting it set up. Obviously, you are quite far away from any traders, but like I said, you're out of the way. You're on your own. You're not really going to get bothered. I've only ever seen one other person up here. Uh, and he weren't even doing this. I don't think he knew what he would do. Like, he didn't know how to set this up. But he was looking for bears. Um, but yeah, he didn't know how to set this up. This is just me showing you. If you want to hunt bears, this is the absolute best way to do it. Because you ain't going to keep running around looking for them. You've just got to wait for them to respawn. Like, if you kill the two bears, you've then got to wait for them to respawn. Walk back down to where you found them. Go Keep running around the forest trying to find them again. Or you can do my method and do this. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Also, subscribe for future Will to Live Online videos. If you have any advice or any questions or anything like that, drop it in the comment below. This video was a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. Like, figuring out how to do this, figuring out where the bears are spawning and stuff like that, where they're walking. I do spend a lot of time on this. So if you could share the video, I would greatly appreciate that. Like, really appreciate that. And uh, I would really appreciate a like. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.